Hi, Miss Richardson. Can you just say what your name is and um, what school you work at? Yes, my name is Kim Richardson, and I'm at Chaparral Elementary. Okay. Second grade. All right, so just some background information. How many years have you been teaching for? Over 30. And what are the degrees that you have? Um, I have a master's degree in curriculum and instruction, and then one in multicultural bilingual education from NAU. And I have some endorsements. And your bachelor's is in? Um, it's a bachelor of science in education. Okay. What are the different grades that you have taught? I've taught first through sixth. Okay, thank you. How do you define teaching and learning? Let's see. I define teaching as the ability, I think, to engage the student and differentiate to meet each individual's needs um, to support and continue learning with all the new ideas that are coming out with all the um, current education. I believe in challenging my students and self to the continued process of collaboration and building community. And how do you define teaching? I mean learning, I'm sorry. Learning, I believe that we learn from one another. So I build this community of learners in which each of us are working together, um, whether it be on a project or a writing assignment or just math to come up with ideas um, where we are questioning and learning from one another not necessarily me just lecturing. Awesome. Which learning theory or theories do you support and implement in your classroom? Um, let's see. The theory I, that I would support more would be such as a social learning. I believe in we learn from one another and the encouragement that all can learn. Um, I believe that we are all here together to continue the process of filling gaps for each other, finding ways to build confidence with peers, and that everyone has their strengths. Although I do not just use cognitive, I do feel the importance of students thinking at a higher level, exploring and questioning, so um, inquiry-based I feel is important. Um, to let children think and explore and share what their thoughts are. Perfect. Do other teachers use different theories? And if yes, why do you think so? Of course, yes, other teachers have different theories. And it's due to their own philosophies of teaching and learning um, and their own uh, life experiences. So. That's why we try to place students into an environment in which they thrive with the teacher that is best for their learning. Okay. Do you have a reward system set in your classroom, and why do you think that it works? Um, yes, I imagine most teachers do have a reward system. Um, looking for that good behavior. I have, the last couple of years, used the clip system for behavior in which students can clip up and down depending on things they do in class. Um, I find that the behavior clip system gives parents more of an uh, opportunity to know how their child is doing and can handle rewards and punishments at home. 
I do use a ticket for certain expectations, which they can put their name into a jar for a piece of candy. Um, I also use table points and then compliments for the whole class. And my last question, what is a strategy that you have used in your classroom that totally didn't work? And then what did you do instead? Okay. Well, um, I feel that I've always used, I mean, from teaching sixth grade down to third grade, what has been very successful for me would be um, like a communi community that type. That totally didn't work. I know. I'm okay. trying to get to second grade, though. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, that I went from third grade now down to second grade. I don't feel like it's a mini society. And kids aren't really able to as much um, understand the whole philosophy of a mini society and um, having certain jobs and expectations that they're responsible for. I noticed they don't take on the responsibility as much as um, because they kind of forget more <laughs> in second grade. They're little. <laughs> they, they're, they don't remember as well. So, um, and they have conflict more. <laughs> um, when someone is asking them to do something. Mm -hmm. So I plan on changing this up a little bit where we will have our jobs and that responsibility, but I want to make it more of a positive, and I found something I'm going to try. It's called I Like What I See, where students are um, obtaining little, cute little ticket things that they can um, put away for um, just making them feel like they're doing something positive in the classroom. And would you want to give those away for um, their jobs, having classroom jobs, or just whenever you see that they're doing something really well in the class? Well, that would be for doing something well in the class, but for classroom jobs, mm -hmm. um, I've implemented uh, usually some Disney dollars and stuff like that that we've used. But I'm not starting that with the kids until like January. Okay. Already, and I forgot to ask in the very beginning when I was recording. It's okay that I'm just mm -hmm. recording our conversation, correct? To turn this into my professor? Yes. Alrighty, thank you so much, Mrs. Richardson.